Whenever the idea of supernatural possession horror comes to mind, many of us will imagine the same things. Demons speaking through children, the human body losing control, and inviting a priest for an exorcism. We may even say the genre is played out, but it seems the film that has a good chance of changing our minds is the new Karen's Brothers film, Late Night with the Devil, starring David Desmalchin. By merging a 1970s talk show atmosphere with countless references to demonology and occultism, the film is able to communicate to us the life-threatening dangers of show business and the irreversible exchange of self for stardom. And we'll discuss this movie in three sections. The inspiration, the meaning, and the symbolism of Late Night with the Devil in the spoiler-free analysis. The inspiration. Late Night with the Devil begins in one of the most eerie and unconventional ways. The film starts with what you could call a prologue mini-documentary. And this prologue, as the Cairns brothers describe, is an ode to the 1981 Japanese-American documentary, The Killing of America. The documentary focuses on the arguable downfall of America starting in the 1960s. It focuses on pivotal assassinations like the deaths of John F. Kennedy and John Lennon, the rise in sniper killers and mass murderers from seemingly well-adjusted upbringings, and the sudden murder sprees of psychopathic sexual serial killers in the 70s. The main draw and the main horror of the film was that it gave viewers a peek behind the monumental and ongoing tragedies of America over the 1960s and 70s. All presented in the eeriest way with raw footage capturing some of the hints leading into the assassinations, disturbing interviews with convicted murderers, and graphically detailed imagery revisiting these tragedies. It's the idea of letting us in on things we aren't sure we want to know but are just too curious to look away from. Late Night with the Devil is attempting to capture that exact same element of horror, literally giving us a peek behind the curtain of Jack Delroy's struggling late night show, Night Owls, as well as an investigation of Jack's mysteriously devastating backstory. And considering all of that, that mini documentary is the perfect introduction to a film like this thematically. The style of the intro creates its own archival footage, stills, gossip brags, magazine covers, all to immerse us in a very seemingly real fictional story, to replicate the intrigue of someone getting their hands on that tape in 1981. But the immersion doesn't stop there. Once we get into the broadcast itself, the main narrative of the film, we feel as if we are re-entering the time period of 1977 as if we're watching Johnny Carson on our standard definition antenna TV box. The TV broadcast and the film itself truly matches the runtime of your average 70s late night episode, also replicating the occasional signal glitches, the square-shaped aspect ratio, and the fuzzy audio picture quality. And when it comes to filmmaking influences, the Cairns brothers look towards the practical blood and gore effects of David Cronenberg, like Videodrome, the psychological horror visuals inspired by Cassavetes, like Opening Night, and the thematic influences of Martin Scorsese, like King of Comedy, specifically covering themes of desperation, loneliness, and the self-destruction that comes with chasing stardom in show business. And on that thematic note, let's dive a little deeper into the meaning and message of Late Night with the Devil in the next section of this video. The meaning. If you were to go online and Google Late Night with the Devil, the general synopsis that you would see would only let us know what simply happens in the movie. Jack Delroy, the host of the once popular late night show Night Owls, tries to boost his ratings back up by inviting mysterious guests who are in touch with the supernatural. But if you've seen the film, it's very clear that what simply happens in the film isn't exactly all the film is about. There's so much being said beneath the surface. And I think star actor David Desmalchin has the perfect explanation of what the film truly captures. 
At the center of it all is a very broken, very frayed man who has so many boulders of unprocessed trauma, grief, and unwellness brewing within him that in his effort to entertain people, to boost his ratings, to save his show, he makes some errors in judgment, and the horror that is unleashed is the consequence. A beautifully said summary that highlights that Late Night with the Devil is just as much a character study as it is a thrilling horror. Jack Delroy is fascinating to us because of his escalating desperation. And as his desperation escalates, his morals begin to weaken. Therefore, the film is simply asking the question, how much of ourselves should we give up for our own success? On Jack's show, he would have controversial guests with unhinged personalities, feature his sick wife to share her story, and in the main storyline of the film, have guests on who can summon demons. And as audience members, we can wonder, are these guests invited because Jack is genuinely willing and interested, or are they invited strictly for the ratings? It's a question we can ask about many other talk show hosts who seem to come off genuinely concerned and interested. And as Jack goes further and further into making his most questionable decisions, he justifies them to himself with the argument of serving a greater good. He believes he's saving the jobs of his production team, keeping the show alive for dedicated fans to hold on to, and maintaining the legacy of himself and his wife who he loves dearly. This is how Jack copes with his poor decision making and continues down his darker and darker path. So let's get into the more spiritual and demonic elements the film uses to parallel Jack's unforgivable sacrifices in the next section of this video. The Symbolism As discussed earlier, Late Night with the Devil is a commentary on the real-life temptations and trappings of show business and the thirst for stardom. And even though this is a horror movie, the surreal, spiritual, and supernatural elements only reinforce those real-life themes. We've all heard of countless myths of film, television, and political elites who are secretly part of some kind of cult who worship the devil. And in order to be promised lifelong opportunity, fame, and riches, a particular deal needs to be agreed upon. The devil owns your soul. And although these stories and myths in popular culture may seem pretty preposterous or simply trivial and fun to theorize about, there is undeniably a symbolic truth to the entire thing. And this symbolic truth is exactly what Late Night with the Devil is trying to communicate to us. Jack Delroy is sacrificing so much of who he was before he entered the business, and this price he pays for the success of the show can be seen as giving up his soul, his truest self. This is why the mini documentary introduction includes imagery and rumors around what is known as the Grove, an elitist cult who convene deep in the woods. There's also a demonic figure named Abraxas, who is also mentioned in the film to be a demon presence within one of Jack Delroy's guests, Lily. The name Abraxas is actually based on a real religious figure, a super being in Gnostic beliefs, but a demon in more common religious beliefs and in popular culture. And in our world, Abraxas is infamously rumored to be one of the most worshipped figures by secret occultist groups. The film effortlessly maintains this continuous blur between what is reality and what is only delusion, what is historical and what is only mythical. And as this film goes along, the difference between it all becomes even harder to identify. But ultimately, the significance of the real elements and the symbolism of the surreal elements are both asking the same thing. Is it worth the chase of everything you dreamed of, at the cost of everything you live for? Only Jack Delroy can give us an accurate answer.